In this video, I am going to share how I created a fun and interactive scratch and match online activity. I will demonstrate the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it with Google Slides to create the template, then set the template as background in Google Jamboard, which is the one that we will share with students. Let's start. The first step is to create the template in Google Slides. Let's go to slides.google.com. Click the blank button to create a new file. Go to the upper left corner to rename. Choose a blank layout and close the theme sidebar. Let's change the background to green. Add a rectangle shape and change its fill color to white. Press Ctrl D to duplicate the shape. Put them to the center of the slide. Click the Insert tab and choose Word Art. Type in Scratch. Resize it by dragging the corner handle. Put it at the top center of the first rectangle. Change the font and resize. Change the fill color to yellow. Control D to duplicate. Put it to the other rectangle shape. Double click and change the text to match. Move it to the center. Let's add a text box for the instruction. Let's say I would like my students to use the eraser tool in Jamboard to scratch and reveal the description in the box. I will show you later how they can do it when we reach the succeeding steps. Change the text alignment to center. Emphasize some text using bold formatting tool. I would also like to have an instruction on the right side so I will select the text box and press Ctrl D to duplicate. Replace the text. I would like my students to use the select tool of the Jamboard to drag and drop the term to its description. I will add another rectangle shape. Change its fill color to blue. Double click the shape to type in the first description that the student is going to identify. Press Ctrl D to duplicate the shape. Replace the text with a second description. I need another rectangle, so I will press Ctrl D. Change the text to the third description. Let's have another description, so I'll press Ctrl D again. Here, I will enter the fourth description. I am done creating the template in Google Slides. I need to download it as an image. Go to the File tab, choose Download, and select PNG. As we can see in the lower left corner, the PNG file has been downloaded. At this point, we will proceed to the second step, which is to put the template to the Jamboard file. I will open another tab, type in jamboard.google.com. At the lower right corner, click the plus or create new jam button. On this new jam, go to the upper left corner to rename the file. Click the Set Background button and choose the Add Image option. I can either browse the PNG file that we downloaded earlier or I can just drag the file to this window. This means the template that we created in Google Slides earlier has become the background of this frame. Students cannot move or modify it. The third step is to prepare the Jamboard activity for students to answer. We are now going to do some finishing touches on this file before we share it with the students. I would like to add a mystery effect and make the activity more interesting, so I would like these boxes to be covered. I will add another layer which the students will scratch later on. To do that, let's go to the pen tool, choose highlighter, and select color red. Begin using the highlighter to fully cover the box.
I'm done with the first box. Let's proceed to the second box. I will do the same instructions for the remaining boxes. At this point, I'm done putting the layer to scratch on all the boxes. On the other side, I need to put the name of the professions or the terms that the students will drag and drop to match with the description. I can either use a text box or a sticky note. For this demo, I'll use the sticky note. Enter in the sticky note window the name of the profession and then click the save button. On the same window, type all the terms. And don't forget to click save button every after the term. Move all of them to the right side. Now that we are done creating the activity, the fourth step is to share the file with the students. Go to the upper right corner and click the share button. In this window, we can either share directly to students, email addresses, or simply get the link to distribute to the students or post in Google Classroom. For this demo, I'll get the link. If your school is subscribed to Google for Education, then you will see your school domain here. If not, what is available to choose from are restricted and anyone with the link options only. I will choose Editor Access. Copy the link and press Done. We can now send the link to our students or we can post it in Google Classroom as an assignment. Suppose this is the computer screen of one of my students. We will just copy the link I sent to them and paste it into the address bar of the browser. As we can see, the file can now be accessed and edited by the student. He will just simply follow the instructions. As stated, he needs to use the eraser tool to scratch and show the description. As expressed in the other column, he has to use the select tool to drag and drop the correct sticky note and put it across the description. He will just continue doing the same instructions to identify all the terms. After the allotted time, the teacher can now check the output of the students. Going back to the screen of the teacher, we can now see the student or the class output. The teacher can now check using the pen tool. And provide feedback using the text box. I hope this video gave you an idea for an interactive activity that you can have with your students. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you!